Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Senior Airman Christiana Scott. U.S. and ROC military officials, along with Korean War veterans, gathered at sea to commemorate the 62nd anniversary of Operation Chromite. Specialist Tyler Ferris was on board for the reenactment. The ROC Navy ship Dokdo hosted a ceremony remembering a major turning point of the Korean War, the Incheon Landing Operation. It was a most historical military decision that I can think of in our history. Since we were able to cut off the North Koreans, their supplies, and relieve the pressure on Pusan. And I guess since Korea has done so well economically and as a nation since then, our investment was great. General MacArthur made the decision to land at Incheon with only eight hours to get the ships into position, leading the way for the combined forces to retake Seoul. Mr. Caldera says the reenactment keeps people aware that the Korean War hasn't ended and is a reminder of the past as well as a deterrent to any future aggression. And I think this was extraordinary to have an idea of really our modern Navy Marine Corps. The, uh, the ships and the troops doing their thing in what could be a modern invasion. The reenactment showcased South Korean land, sea and air forces. Specialist Tyler Ferris on board the rock ship Dokdo, Korea. 77 American Korean War veterans attended the ceremony. That was your Korea update. I'm senior airman Christiana Scott.